can be uh, distributed now the production of beer so in this picture as you can see the whole stage of beer preparation is illustrated pretty clearly I'll be talking just overview of each of the stages. So here we get the barley. Once we get the barley, the first job is the malting of the barley. That means the germination of barley because the germinated uh, part of the barley is, is called as malts, right? So for this malting, what we need to do, we need to add some water because they want, they need, uh, they require moisture for the germination as well as they require some internal hormonal activity like the gibberellin activity inside the barley to finally convert them into the <coughs> excuse me malts so this particular process is called steeping in the steeping process they are uh, receiving moisture from outside as they are receiving in, in a bed where it is getting all the necessary moisture and everything required and obviously they require some optimum temperature they start to produce or germinate they start to germinate here you can see germination is going on and and things are coming out like that okay so germination is going on in this case and then finally after the germ germination is done when uh, they uh, do not require moisture anymore we need to take out the moisture out of this place for taking out that moisture we need to dry them right now that part is called the kilning or kiln drying process right so once the moisture content is utilized we need to kiln dry those those uh, molds and after the kiln drying the step is called the milling because we need to uh, make powder from those malts right now the malt are of several different varieties it can be of uh, this yellowish color malt it can be of dark color malt so light or dark both the type some beer are prepared with the dark colored malt they give rise to dark colored beer and some are prepared with light colored malts so here we can see the roller mill what we we add all the germinated uh, what we can say barley or malt there and we produce a grist of it once we produce the grist we are having a mixer or mash mixer in this mash mixer once we get all the grist which is the powder portion of these malts are added and we add the another important ingredient or second important ingredient which is water we have already talked about one important ingredient which is barley or malt this one this is the second important ingredient water is added here in the mash mixer now in this case what we added this grist is mixed with water thoroughly and what it is producing it produces what is called a mash now mash means we are having malt with water uh, mixture right so once we get this done we we take that and we add it into another chamber it is called tun or lauter tun in the lauter tun you can see uh, this color it is made up with copper this is very very important to produce a quality beer the lotter turn and rest of the process where the fermentation will go on must be made with copper because copper <coughs> the presence of copper is actually sometimes help there are some uh, different theories but usually some scientists uh, are telling that this copper can act as an important enzyme uh, cofactor during the process of fermentation right that's why copper is important so they impart some of the they they can help to achieve the fermentation pretty quick right so once they start to uh, add everything in this lot of turn for several uh, hours or so for some time then what they do they transfer it into what we call a kettle it is also made up with copper it is a giant kettle as you can see and it is a, having a typical characteristic or having a kind of chimney like structure though the top region is sealed it's not open like normal chimneys it is sealed and this is called the kettle or lotter kettle and this kettle what we can see this is the region where uh, everything will be mixed properly right so they add there add it here and slightly they will heat this whole mixture so they add everything so once the mix uh, this mash is taken from lotter turn into the kettle it will be called wort so these are the terminologies mash wort so everything is the name after making the preparation so what is provided and once the wort is provided into the kettle they add hops hops is the third most important ingredient in this case so they will put hops there into the wort and after the putting hops in the wort the brewing the actual brewing process begins and in this case you can see this kettle how large these kettles are and it is respective to this person this is very large so uh, they put them everything like that and then after some time they will take it and what they do they will so so they will heat this kettle for some while so as a result of this heating all of the ingredients that are present in malt 
are coming out to the malt water mixture into the world right so into the world the mixture uh, every flavor is kind of mixing because flavor from malt is kind of coming out flavor from hops are kind of coming out so everything is come out <coughs> and they are mixed with the water so once they are mixed with the water so mixture is containing every little bit of uh, that typical uh, beer flavor now once everything is prepared like that so the mixture is heat uh, heated now we need to cool the mixture so we need to transfer that mixture into a plate heat exchanger so here it is the cooling chamber or plate heat exchanger where everything is put and it will be transferred from one after another plate so that the heat is kind of dispersed to the plate and the mixture is becoming cool so once the mixture is now cool now it is being ready and subjected to the actual fermentation now i remind you in any kind of alcoholic beverage preparation like beer or wine and all this thing before the fermentation the fermentation should be carried out in a mild temperature not in the high temperature so in all this case if you see that oh, if the mixture is heated or everything is done but still after everything before the fermentation you need to reduce the temperature of your mixture so you reduce the temperature and put it into the fermenter so once we put it into the fermenter now is the time to add the last and the most important ingredients that is yeast in this particular stage so yeast is now added so now as we add yeast into the fermentation mixture or fermentation chamber onto the wort the yeast will start to ferment right now during this process what it produces is called the green beer the green beer means immature beer just just the start of the fermentation slightly so here in this first part we are having lots of sugar and then we add yeast so we are having very very low alcohol because there is no alcohol there now as the this beer start to ferment what it produces green beer in the green beer slight alcohol concentration slight alcohol is start to form and sugars are start to degraded now after certain time there is a maturation tank where the fermentation is going on for uh, full flog and it is going on rapidly so as the fermentation is going on pretty fast all the sugars that are present start to convert into alcohol right so sugar it starts to convert into alcohol by the presence of this ingredient yeast right okay so yeast is converting it into the alcohol so less sugar is left more alcohol is there now once uh, the process of fermentation is conducted we need to transfer that mixture which is filled with alcohol almost 6 to 8% of the not 6 to 8 actually it's beer so it will be less it will be approximately 4 to 6% of the alcohol that is being generated we transfer it into the filtration unit the filtration in unit can be of different type clarifiers or filter and any kind so using that filtration unit we can filter out uh, our uh, beer and once we get this filtering out of the beer we we bottle that into the different bottles so bottling is done after the filtration after the bottling is the time for a kind of tunnel pasteurization now why we require this pasteurization because remember <coughs> <coughs> very very sorry i'm very sick right now anyways so uh, here anyways uh, we get this beer and we bottle that beer so once we produce this bottling every now i remind you in all these stages like lotter turn kettle a separator of uh, of the liquid from this whirlpool separator which is the separate which is the separator agent for separating the liquid part from the solid parts so in all these things all the chambers must be fermenter and all this chamber must be uh, sterilized uh, prior to uh, the pro process of uh, beer preparation so it is required after all this thing we need to go through another round of uh, what you can say uh, sanitization or another round of uh, disinfection otherwise uh, it will be very much contaminated with some other microorganisms we don't want that those contaminations so for that reason one final step of pasteurization is carried out and this is called the tunnel pasteurization so once every bottle uh, is ready it is capped now it is moved through a kind of conveyor belt and through the pasteurization is going on there after the pasteurization via the uv irradiation or something is going on after that if there is a organism left in this bottled beer they will die and they will lose their viability and after that what we take it we take it and then we make a level of the leveling of the bottle and we finally did it and remember in this particular step after the kettle, kettle uh, when you take it in a whirlpool separator there are two important things are generated one is liquid another one is solid 
solid and liquid so the liquid materials that is generated is simply turned into the fermenter tank and the rest of the process will be going on like that but for the solid material it will be transferred and to the flash pasteurization and at this particular stage <coughs> so they will be taken as a cattle feed okay now some of uh, the beer are directly bottled after this filtration step and pasteurized and ready to be uh, provided to the distributors but some of those beer is then taken into the flash pasteurization then they are placed inside a keg now this keg are also being prepared not like bottled but keg, keg are long and larger chambers where the beer is act, uh, this keg is acting as, as a reservoir for beer and these kegs are delivered to bars where lot of beer supplies required less than the different bottles so they, we provide the keg to those those for for that purposes okay <coughs> 